legal tool works. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll um, find out and I'll put it on the description. The important thing about the shape is that it's slightly irregular. You want there to be an angled point here, you want there to be a point on the end, and the rest of it can be anything you like. Plotting points. And I've got an area here that I want to cut an exact piece of carpet to fit that hole. What we do is we take this, take a pencil, go right up into the corners and draw around it. And I go right the way to this corner here. You could use one of these, less of a chance of confusion at the end. And I suppose you could actually draw little arrows there to where the points are. And then we take this off. And we stick it on our carpet, or in this case, we will stick it onto another piece of paper. And then we'll make a template from the other piece of paper because it's going to have to be reversed and we don't want to draw onto the bristles of the carpet. So I've stuck my piece of paper down. I don't know if you can see that, but I've stuck this piece of paper down onto another piece of paper. Really, you'd want to use card or something. I don't have any card. So I'm going to use a marker pen so I don't put holes in it and damage the paper too much. And you're just going to find these shapes. They're not that hard to find, even when they're overlapping all over the place. So we just found one there. Just lined it up. And that gives us this point here. There, right there. Found another one just here. I don't know if you can see that. Give it an arrow. It is on the point. I've just pushed this along a bit with the pen. Could almost sort of tick them off, draw, draw around them and sort of tick them off. So we found that one so we could sort of ink it in, I suppose. Like that. We know we found that one. We know we found that one. So we can ink that in. Get really used to your special shape after a while. Okay, so now we take a ruler and we'll draw, we'll connect them all. So I've connected all the dots, now I'm just going to cut it out. And if I was actually fitting something that I could have drawn on the correct side of, this would be the final stage, this would be the piece to go in, so this will be the proof that this piece fits. But we're actually going to reverse this because we need to draw on the back of the carpet. So this would be your final stage, this would be your tile that you're putting in your space, or your piece of carpet, or your piece of liner, or whatever. So this will be the proof of the pudding. Although having said that, there's no reason why you couldn't add this stage. Just be really short of materials. You want to be sure that you don't mess it up. Here's our space. Here's our piece. And this would be the final piece. As you see, it is a perfect fit. Found a very good match for this edge here. So there's our, there's our finished shape there. Yeah, you want to cut slightly beyond with carpet so you're not tearing out the fibres when you come to separate the corner. Tell me that ain't perfect. And then we're gonna have the other, the main big piece is gonna come along and down here. So it'll come over this edge. We're gonna have one big piece going over all the way along and down. And then that will be carpeted.